so I'm uh, going to show how I use bookkeeping, which sounds really, really, really boring. And I've used this a lot in the last few years, and I just want to show you how it can be cool and fun. Slide. Uh, so why am I doing this? My, my grandma told me to. This is actually true. Uh, my grandma said, boy, you should use bookkeeping to uh, keep ahead of your finances, and this is really useful. And there's also a lot of questions that will pop up in our lives every once in a while that we can comfortably and decisively answer with this. So like, uh, I had 100 euros a week ago, and where is this gone? Uh, how, how did it go away? And um, maybe you bought something that broke, and you want to know how old it was. Um, so you can check it and you can know how much you paid for it. So maybe you can do a calculation if you want to buy a new one or if you want to get it repaired. Um, actually, another thing that is useful is to keep track of how much you use on uh, bandwidth. Maybe you use your mobile phone a lot. Uh, you use mobile internet. So you may want to know which contract suits you. Um, and yeah, you can do comparisons of like the important things in life. How much do I spend on food? How much do I spend on hardware? And should I change this balance? Slide. So what I use is K My Money. This is just something I stumbled upon uh, a couple years ago when I started this. It's a very friendly looking nice client. These are not my figures. I do not own hundreds of thousands of dollars, uh, but maybe I can get there in time. Slide. So uh, how do I do it? I just record all the transactions. This sounds really bad. Like if I buy a sandwich at a railway station while traveling, do I record that? Yes, I do. Um, I do it for all my accounts. I do it for cash accounts, which is just my bag of money. I do it for my checkings accounts and everything. The resolution I chose is a half a euro, which is convenient. And if there's any, you know, cents left over, uh, I just don't care. I put them in a cookie jar so I can roll them up into these little, you know, coin roll things. I really, really love that. Um, <laughs> You can do data validation by bank statements. So you go to your bank every once in a while and you get your statement. Uh, and you can cross-check that actually KMI Money supports this uh, as a native operation to cross-check your stuff with the bank statement, which is really useful. Um, this does not take up a lot of my life. Um, I do five to 10 minutes every one to three days, depending on how much money I spend. And um, well, the data that is accumulated is currently 175 kilobytes of gzipped XML data. Um, and I've been doing this for five years, so that's actually okay. If you unzip it, you can see how it's uh, like two and a half megabytes of XML data. Yeah, slide please. So this is some data. I obfuscated this. This is not the real data. I uh, changed the numbers, of course. And this is Israeli shekels, because I find the sign is really funny. <laughs> um, but what we're getting into here is seeing how uh, correlations of this data with what happens in your life is interesting. Like uh, with these prominent dips, uh, I went on holidays, big and expensive holidays. And uh, yeah, you can see how things move. Uh, the, the light blue line is a moving three month, aver three month average. Uh, the violet line is a moving six month average. So that's just, you know, playing around with, I'm a, I'm a physicist, so I really love playing around with data and statistics and stuff. Slide. And um, yeah, as I said, you can uh, see live events. Uh, the red one is just miscellaneous entertainment, like going to shows and stuff. Uh, the yellow bars is uh, alcohol spendings, and the blue bars is cigarette spendings. So you can see how I quit smoking and how that helps. <laughs> and uh, you can see how my girlfriend broke up with me right here. <laughs> And, uh, well, yeah, this was one hell of a New Year's party, too. Uh, so, slide, please. Um, this is something for a more serious analysis. So, uh, how much am I using on uh, mobile phone contracts? You see how this is always a quarter of a year. So, you see, you know, five, five years gets to a lot of data. I'm not even going to, they love you, just go, you've got another minute. All right, minute. thank you. So uh, here it was a pretty expensive contract, and then I switched it, which means that I used a lot less uh, money on my mobile phone in the following months. This has to do with a girlfriend again. Um, but now I started using uh, mobile data. Uh, so there's some cost added, and I'm, I'm going to think, of course, I'm going to think about changing my contract so uh, I can get this down a bit. Slide. And now here's an important trick I want to show you in my last 30 seconds. Um, you are going to think that I cannot possibly track all my transactions. I'm going to forget stuff. And of course, yes, you do. And uh, what I do to uh, mitigate this is I just have a category called leakage. So I, I thought of all the transactions. I've tracked down like uh, 30 euros. And um, I'm just going to put five euros in I forgot this. OK, so you have a category for your own failures. And it's not too bad. Uh, you can just put it in this. And it kept me going for five years.